Are you looking to add a touch of fall to your home decor this year, but don't want to break the bank? In today's video, I'm going to show you the very best trends for fall and how to get them on a budget. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Fall is definitely one of my favorite seasons. I know a lot of you are fallaholics too, but I don't wanna be spending a ton of money to switch over all of my decor for the season. So today I'm going to show you all of the tips, all of the tricks on how to get this year's decor trends on a budget. So grab a pumpkin spice latte and let's get started. So in general, this year's fall decor seems to be a lot more understated than what we've seen in the past. So for example, in the past, we've seen tons of pumpkins and signs that say welcome fall. We've seen a lot of very traditional fall colors like bright oranges, blacks, yellows, browns. But this year we're seeing a lot more subtle ways to welcome the season. So just a nice gentle transition from the summer to the fall and lots of things that we can leave in our home throughout the whole year and especially throughout the fall and the winter seasons. I love that. I love that we're not just swapping out our entire decor season to season now and doing the switch in just a more subtle, more sustainable way. So this year we're seeing a lot of these elements in fall home decor. Warm earth tone colors, vintage or collected accent pieces, lots and lots of layered textures in furniture and home decor, and lots of natural elements from the outdoors. Now, just a note on home decor trends. As someone who loves art, who loves decorating, I find it really interesting to research the trends from season to season, from year to year. I find it really interesting to see what's new, what people are buying, how people are decorating, and see the shifts in the industry over the years. Personally, I enjoy swapping out my decor every now and then if number one I love the trends that are happening right now and if number two I can afford it as a general rule though you know your family best you know your lifestyle and yourself best so you should decorate for you and your family no matter what's trending if you love one of these trends that I'm sharing with you today go ahead, give it a try. I'm gonna share ways that you can do it affordably. If you don't like any of these, decorate your home exactly how you want it. You live there and you have to feel comfortable in it. So the first trend is warm accent colors. I love this trend and I think this one is going to be something that lasts throughout the years, especially if you're a lover of warm and cozy home decor. Rather than the cooler accent colors of the past, so we're talking about cool grays, blues and greens, we're seeing lots of warmer colors take center stage. So I'm talking about colors like amber, terracotta, even some warm peach tones, and lots of brown neutral is making homes feel cozier and so inviting. So how do you get this look on a budget? You can paint an accent wall in a warm shade. So usually you can get away with a pint of paint for a project like this, or you can sew DIY throw pillows in warm colors. I really like the look of faux leather this year. You can also find some nice inexpensive pillow covers on Amazon. I will link some of my favorites down in that description box below. Sometimes all it takes to add a little bit of warmth in your space is just adding a couple pieces that are accent pieces like pillows and decor. Vintage accessories is the second trend that I am loving for this season. Throw pillows from vintage Turkish rugs are really popular right now. They look so worn and beautiful. You can find similar pillows on Amazon. You can find them at places like World Market, Home Goods, Home Sense, and then you can incorporate antique finds and thrifted finds in your home for this look as well. Look on places like Facebook Marketplace, go to a thrift store, go to an antique store. You can find a lot of things like little side tables, dressers for a really great price that have that beautiful worn vintage look. I have a blog post that shares with you my favorite 31 pieces to always look out for when you're going to the thrift store. I will link that down in the description box below, but always keep your eye out for things like wooden bowls, golden picture frames, brass accents, and even textiles that you can upcycle into things like throw pillows. Going to the thrift store is one of my favorite ways to incorporate this vintage trend because it's not only a great way to save money, but it's also good for the environment because we're reusing rather than buying something new. So my favorite place to find vintage accessories would be thrift stores, so Goodwill, Value Village, your local thrift store, the antique mall, garage sales, yard sales, and Facebook Marketplace. Definitely check that out every couple days to see what's new there. The next autumn trend that is fantastic this year are dried grasses and florals. And this has been going on for the last year at least. 
This is a beautiful look because you can buy or you can dry your own florals or grasses and use them year after year. You can add a few dried pompous grass stems to a big vase, put that in a corner in your home, or you can even create a DIY wreath from dried flowers. I have a tutorial for that. I will link it down in the description box below. Where can you find budget-friendly dried grasses and florals? Dry your own. You can just gather some from your garden, from your ditch. <laughs> Sometimes I have some really nice weeds that actually dry into nice florals. You can also press them in between a book and between sheets of newspaper and have some pressed florals for decorations. You can use a coupon and find them at Michael's. There's some on Amazon that are surprisingly nice looking as well and I will link those down in the description box below. Another trend that I'm loving for this season is cottage core. So this is essentially a Gen Z spinoff of cottage style. So it's really not only that cottage style, so lots of antiques, lots of whites, lots of cottagey accents, but it's also a lifestyle. So making your own bread, baking, having picnics. I just love this whole aesthetic. I plan to incorporate this look into our tiny lake house renovation. It's so perfect for an actual tiny home cottage, but it's also great to incorporate into any home. It just kind of gives that nice handmade personal feel. So here's how to achieve the cottage core look in your own home. So incorporate those thrifted and antique accents into your home. You can DIY things from scratch like pillow covers and curtains. You can even use vintage bed sheets for these DIYs. And then finally, you can bring nature inside your home. So you can grab some clippings from trees in your yard, incorporate some branches into a beautiful vase, collect flowers and bring them inside, put them in vases on your table, on your coffee table, or you can even do something like press ferns and create some art for your mantle or your shelves. Velvet fabrics are also trending this season and I love velvet. I've loved it for so many years. I think it looks so beautiful. It has that vintage vibe to it, that more opulent vibe, but it's also so comfortable too. Of course, something like a velvet sofa or a velvet chair is beautiful, but you don't have to drop a ton of cash to incorporate velvet into your home. It could be as simple as sewing a DIY velvet accent pillow, popping that on your couch, or if you go to the thrift store, again, you're gonna find a lot of actual velvet pieces. Even if it's just something like a vintage chair with a velvet upholstered seat, that's gonna add a lot of texture and interest to your space. Don't forget to look in the clothing and textile section in your thrift store to see if you can upcycle anything that has a velvet texture into throw pillows, placemats, or any sort of home decor accent. The next thing that's trending this year is tons and tons of texture. This is beautiful for any time of year and adding lots of different textures to your home decor is just kind of a general way to make your home decor look a little bit more high-end and more interesting, especially if you have a neutral home decor palette. So that's just lots of shades of white, brown, gray, black, etc. not too much color. It's really important to incorporate lots of textures to make that look more interesting and not so flat. So in your home decor, especially for this season, think about adding something fuzzy. So whether that's an accent pillow, a stool, think about adding something rough, so a seagrass basket for example I found this one at Ikea think about something soft a nice soft velvet pillow a velvet accent chair a nice soft rug and then finally consider adding something shiny I love the look of thrifted brass candlesticks maybe some sort of faux gilded mirror or that kind of thing mixed metals are still trending this season and I love this look sometimes I get a little bit of hate for mixing metals in my DIY and decor projects but I really like that collected more relaxed look so we're not just seeing one metal in our homes anymore. So everything being brushed chrome, everything being gold. People are mixing and matching their metal accents to give more of an interesting look. I personally love mixing black metal accents with brushed gold accents, but you could mix chrome accents with black accents. I wouldn't really mix more than two different metals though personally in my own home. So some budget friendly ideas to incorporate this trend into your home decor, swap out hardware. So I swapped out hardware on my sideboard for something a little bit more on trend, the brush to brass, grab some hardware from Amazon. It doesn't have to be that expensive. You could paint your light fixtures in a metallic paint. You could paint knobs. I've done this in my travel trailers. And as long as you make sure that you wipe the surface properly and prep, that's gonna last you a long time. You could also head on over to the thrift store once again, grab some brass colored accessories, grab some brass picture frames, and you can upcycle those. What I like to do is swap out the art in those, so I just find some inexpensive digital downloads on a place like Etsy, 
print those out at my local copy and print center. So I go to Staples and then I can put those in the frames and they look so amazing. And they're usually less than $20 for a beautiful piece of art that looks like it could be $100 or $200 or more. So much for watching today's video. I hope this list inspired you as you decorate for fall. Don't forget to only pick and choose the trends that you absolutely love, that you can afford, that work with your family and your lifestyle, and incorporate those in a way that works for you and your family. If you don't like any of these, that's okay. You want to always make sure you decorate your home for you and with what you love. That is most important. If you like DIY and decor ideas on a budget, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next, right up here.